Hello students, in this video, we'll prove the associativity law for addition on the natural numbers. And so our theorem will be that for any n and m and p natural numbers, we have the following. We have that n plus m plus p is equal to n plus m plus p. So we're going to prove this by fixing n and m. So we'll proof, fix n and m and n. And consider the set, let's change the notation a little bit here, and consider the set p capital of all p natural numbers such that n plus m plus p is equal to n plus m plus p. Okay. So let's first show that 1 is in this set. So let's first show that. So I claim that p is the entire set of natural numbers. So here's the first part of the proof. So I claim that 1 is in p. So n plus m plus 1 is what? Is the successor is the successor of n plus m. Now, this of course is the successor of a of n and m, just a different notation for us. And we know by properties of addition that I can put the successor on the second slot. So this is the addition of n and s of m, which is what? Which is n plus the successor of m, but the successor of m is m plus 1. And so what have we shown here? We've shown that n plus m plus 1 is equal to n plus m plus 1. Therefore, 1 is in p. So this proves to us that 1 is in the set p. Now let's let any p be p. So let's let little p be in capital P. And then what does that tell us? That tells us that n plus m, so that tells us that <coughs> The addition of what? Of n plus m and p is equal to the addition of n and m plus p. Of course, we can put more additions in here, right? But this helps us with our notation over here. So I'd like to take the successor of this relationship. So what does that tell us? So this tells us that the successor of this, the successor of a and n plus m comma p, is equal to the successor of a of n and m plus p. Okay. Now let's unpack this and see what this tells us. I can put the six over here. I can put the successor on p. So this says that a of n plus m comma the successor of p is equal to what? Is equal to well, what will this thing be over? I'll put the successor over here. So this is going to be a of n and then the successor of m plus p. Good. Now again, a lot of notation for the same thing. Every time I see a plus, I can replace that with a of something. Ever seen a of something, I can replace it with a plus. We're using two notations just to help us bridge the gap between our initial notation for addition and our subsequent definitions of addition with the ordinary using the plus notation. Good. Now what can I do with this successor over here? With the successor over here, we can put it on the p, right? Because I know this is really a. This over here, I can also realize this is what? I can realize this m plus p is really is a of m and p, so we can put that successor onto the p. So this thing over here is exactly equal to a of n, and then what? And then m plus the successor of p. Excellent. So now what does this relationship tell us over here? That underlying relationship, that equality tells us that n plus m plus s of p is equal to n plus m plus s of p. And that tells us that s of p is in this set p capital. And therefore, by induction, p capital is all natural numbers. And therefore, addition is associative on the natural numbers. Thank you very much.